another day, another field, and um, today I'm with the Koi Meister. Um, been here for a while, but haven't found much. Moved into a, another field that's waiting to be cut on alage. Just noticed a few bear patches that I could actually get and detect on. But anyway, look, got my first uh, decent find of the day. I'm really pleased with this. There's the impression look. So it's come out of there like that. And it looks like it's got markings on it. So I'll have to clean it up properly, but uh, I'll show you in the roundup and I'll let you know how old it is. But uh, pretty cool these are. Right, see you in a bit. There's the uh, real coin meister up there, look. Hey Neil. Right then, let's see what... I've just had from down there, I've just had a penny and it's Edward the Seventh and it's uh, 1905. And Neil's just ID'd this trade weight I had on the last uh, clip and it's William and Mary and it's 1690. So there you go, what do you reckon? Yeah, and when it comes to William and Mary, well, I'm very good at IDing William and Mary. <laughs> there you go. Nice right, one. Welcome Turn to another video. This is, uh, I don't know how many parts of the video I've got in this one. I'll just keep adding bits on. Um, but anyway, it's uh, the Sunday. I'm out with the uh, Koi Meister. He's over there. Um, just a uh, a new permission. I haven't done it before. I think Neil's been on before, but not on this part. Uh, but uh, anyway, from down there, just had my first coin, and it looks like a. This is George V, and I'm not sure on the day. You might be able to see it. Anyway, there you go. First coin. Right. Well, my next find. I haven't found much. I tell you what, it's been hard going. But a barrel tap, it's a bit bust on that side. But anyway, there you go, one barrel tap. See you in a bit. Right, my next find, as fine as go, that is actually pretty nice. It's a finny off summit. Uh, I've got to say, that's really nice, I like that. But uh, anyway, there you go, see you in a bit. Right, really cool find. Pity it's got a bit of nibbling around the outside, but it's a commemorative uh, medal and it's uh, got Queen Victoria on it and on that side it says to the Empress of the United Kingdom and India right so that's pretty cool that is and it's dated 1840 so that's one year after she came to the th uh, sorry beg your pardon I think it's two years after she came to the throne I think it was is it 38 or 39 she came on something like that anyway but uh, there you go pretty cool eh Right, right here's See a funny bit. one for you. Normally you find bits of leather thinking, oh, I'm sure I could see something in it, but I can definitely see something in that. <laughs> Is that an 86 there or, or what? I don't know. But there's something going on there, and there's that thing on the end there, look. But it is lead, because I could just bend it, but it's um, old. Yeah, so I don't know. What is it, what is it, what is it? But anyway, there you go, interesting. That's my first uh, coin for the day, and it's a uh, penny, and it's George Five. There we go. Right, right. See next find, another coin. Fingers crossed, because I think this is a possibility of a Roman. Let's look at this. Right now then. Right, let's not make any mistakes here. I better not rub it too much. But... Uh, Definitely looking like a Roman, it's a bit thickness to it, a bit irregular. Uh, don't think it's a button. In fact, I'm sure it's a Roman. Right, there's some it there, but it needs a real gentle clean. Right, go leave it at that for now, but I think it's a Roman. Right, nice one, get in. Right, See some in kind bit. of uh, tap end, probably off a barrel tap. But uh, anyway, there you go, found the barrel tap yesterday, so this could be the key to it. Right, see in a bit. Got my next find, a musket ball. Looks like it struck something. Right, always like finding these. Anyway, there you go. Right, found another one of these things here. Now, I'm more or less positive it's some kind of bag seal. That's got 99 on it, or 66, one or the other. See that there, that's an hole. Right, and that goes into this thing here. So what I think happens is there must be some kind of wire or what have you goes through there and that 
that is the knob that holds it together and stops it from uh, coming apart but that's what I think it is it's some kind of uh, bag seal but what I don't know never seen one like that before anyway there you go now I've got two see right, you in a bit next find yeah Mel just to prove there's two on the island at least Mel came on the uh, dig last time and uh, he found his first ever cartwheel penny <laughs> so anyway <laughs> that's pretty cool isn't it hey, that you came all the way to Anglesey to find it but anyway Mel Potter there we go mate just to prove there's definitely two on the island right there you go one cartwheel so see you in a bit penny. Um, not sure again look at that completely blank can't see anybody on it but anyway there you go our next find is here look now there might be more than one coin here or then again it might be two impressions I don't know that's the impression that's the coin that's the impression no just the one coin so who we got bloody hell it's really toasted really toasted well I can't see anybody on that actually it's tell a lie might be George III might just be able to see someone looking for the right but it's a very small bus one but anyway there you go see you in a bit first find for the day some kind of loom weight uh, see if that or a steel yard weight I think it's a loom weight but anyway there you go pretty cool See you in a bit. To another dig. This is the um, one of the Friday fields from the charity um, that we did a few weeks back. Uh, this is uh, a field we didn't get into because it was long grass, waiting for the alage to be done. But anyway, I've come and now to go because it's been cut. And uh, anyway, this is the first find for the day. And it's a buckle. It's got an iron thing on that side. It's probably the pin. But anyway, there you go. Pretty cool. See you in a bit. Next find. I'll be honest with you, it's not been easy going. I've hardly found anything. But this looks pretty cool, whatever it is. Right. So it looks like a, a flower. It's got uh, stud on that side. It's either off the horse's harness or a belt fitting. But uh, we've put a date on it. 18th century if I had to put a date on that there you go pretty cool right there you go see you in a bit right they do a live dig curse it but I've got 1241 here to stop speeding right 1241 just there Wish me luck. 12.41 is usually a coin, but I have been known to find junk at 12.41 as well. Right, still nice and sound. Just there. All right. Loose in the ground, I can see it already. There we go, with your own eyes. Now tell me, oh, that is beautiful. Right, I don't know what it is already, and I'm already loving it. But I would, oh dear me, I would say that this could be something pretty good. Right. Oh dear. What is it? This is something pretty good. Oh dear. Well, do you know what? I really don't know, but holes in it as well holes there look right now then I'm 
not sure if anything is missing there, you know, because it don't look like it. Looks like that could be... Well, I don't know. I really don't know, but I like it. I'll have to research that. But there you go. Something good at last. See you the first coin today. And I think it's at half penny. Um, I think I can see George III on it. But that's about as much as I can tell you about it. Very warm, so, but uh, I'm sure I can see George III in that. Right, anyway, there you go. See you in a bit. Find is a Siemens button, uh, Victorian. Uh, I know that because I've researched these ones before. So it's roughly the end of uh, uh, rain, around about 1900, something like that. But anyway, there you go, you've got three uh, third release, sorry, feathers, Welsh feathers, sorry, and a um, anchor. Right. See you next. Let's find another half penny. Same again. No idea. Probably uh, looking at it, George III, something like that. Right. Anyway, there you go. Next See find is down here. And it looks like a big, big ball. I don't know if it's a grape shot or, or what, but this is a big one. Right, there you go, that's really cool, love it, love it, love it, love it, see you in a bit. Uh, next find is this, it looks like a uh, leaf, um, to look at it I'd say a maple leaf, so has that got something to do with Canadian? I don't know, it, it was probably a badge or a nap pin or so. I just don't know, but anyway that's what it looks like, it looks like a maple leaf, but anyway there you go, to the next. Take a look at this, I'll tell you what, full B. I thought it was a very tiny locket or pocket watch, look at this. Right, it's not, it's a lead weight, but God almighty, look at that. That must be some years old. That's got to be. That's not uh, a modern one, I can tell you, and I do, I do fishing all the time. No, definitely not modern. But uh, anyway, that is cool. Right, there you go. See you in a bit. Right, I found a bullet. Uh, the reason I show you this one, it's a bit bigger than normal. I've been finding a lot of 303s uh, and a lot of uh, buckles, which uh, have got to relate to the Second World War because there's quite a few here and they're all the same. And also, uh, the um, if you take the maple leaf cap badge, the chances are there was something like the Canadian Army or something based here because there's shells and bullets everywhere but the, there's lots of bullets that's not been fired still got the cordite in it um, so anyway I think that's what's been happening on this corner of the field anyway but there you go a bullet see you in a bit right look at this big boy this goes to uh, peak crazy crazy I've got a collection of going for him. Anyway, this is another one for you, Pete. Right, there you go. What is it, 50 cal or something like that? Anyway, there you go. See you in a bit.